This is Flight Alert Impossible Landings. It is a recent release. I think it's a couple months old now. And I have pretty much done everything except the final level. And as you can see, the airplanes. So with this game, you have to pretty much complete or maximize each of the planes in each tier in order to uh, keep going to each different airport. So, I mean, you only need to do one tier or one plane per tier. So, as you can see, like you get, you can pretty much buy one plane in each tier with with uh, your money, and then you can use gold to buy a plane if you need be. But like, look at this, like hundred, two hundred, then bam, four hundred. So it's quite expensive, but you pretty much need to each. Yeah, I'll, I'll show. So each air, airport is limited to a certain tier. So this airport is tier one, this is tier two, and then tier three. And you can only use that tier based airplane in that airport. So you can't swap around. So you pretty much have to max out a plane in that airport or in that tier, get that done, and then you can finally move on and uh, do the next one. So, as we can see here, I've done all those. I've done all the specials, obviously, to get to the next area. I've done all those ones, done all those ones, done all these ones, done this. And I found right at the end, you pretty much just have to keep doing a ton of contracts in order to finally be able to pay for the final upgrades because they cost 16,000 each and you have to wait two hours so it's a long ass wait but finally I can finally complete this get it done please I don't want to play this anymore but for some reason I just keep coming back which is good like it's good that the game can do that it's just it's really easy though it's a really simple game anyone can play it and you can just, what's cool is you can use the motion of turning the iPad around and stuff. Yeah. So this one has, in the special missions, you get a unique type of goal. I did find some of them were a bit ridiculous though. Kind of like this one, but some of them are really easy. So. I don't really understand the point of this. I think it's just all dramatic effects or just distractions, really. So, it's pretty easy. Done. Well, that was, uh, I was thinking it, it sounded like it would be really hard, but it wasn't. I'm kind of wondering what I do with all this money. I mean, what upgrade a plane that you would bought with gold, which you can't afford? Yeah. Don't even know. And that's it. Wow. So you don't get, there's no more airports after that. There's only three airports in this game. And that's it. That's the end of the game. You've completed it. Now there's no reason to ever play this again. Because you're never going to get enough gold to ever get, wait, get all these planes. So, yeah, there's no gold for that. Packages, you know, look at the prices. These are ridiculous. All right. So, yeah, there's not much there for that. You go for coins, and 200 coin is uh, 200,000 coin is supposedly worth eight dollars, which I don't think so. And 2,000 gold is worth eight dollars. I mean, you can use the gold to speed up upgrades, but there's no real point. So the prices of this game are ridiculous. So never buy anything in this game. Just keep playing. Honestly. What's good is that you could always do the primaries without needing to upgrade the plane. You can just keep going and keep using the money to keep upgrading, but you never had to be stuck at that point. You can do all the 30 missions, for example, and then you can do all the upgrades and then just keep working on special or, you know, until you get enough money to keep doing contracts, which you get 2,000. And that's pretty much the highest amount you're going to get until you have enough to complete the final mission. So... Well, that was very exciting, and, uh, yep, great game. <coughs>